All right, so lesson 77 is on finding unstated information in fraction problems. So here we have um, diagram this statement and then answer the questions. So three-fourths of the 28 students in the class are boys. Into how many parts is the class divided? How many students are in each part? How many parts are boys? How many boys are in the class? How many parts are girls? And how many girls are in the class? So our first step is to diagram the pro problem. And when we say diagram, it means we're drawing our little fraction box over here. Okay. So I need to figure out how many sections I need to divide this into. Well, it says that three-fourths of, of the students are boys. So that means I'm going to break up my box into four sections. Okay, And I know that there's 28 students total, and that three-fourths of them are boys. Okay, So I need to figure out how many goes into each box. Well, if I have 28 total... 28 divided by 4 is 7. So 7 students go into each of my boxes. So how, A, how many, how many parts is the class divided? The answer is 4. B, 4 parts. B, how many students are in each part? Is 7 students. Okay. C, how many parts are boys? Well, it tells us that three-fourths are boys, so we know that three parts are boys. Then D, how many parts, or how many boys are in each class? So we need to add these up, or multiply them. Seven times three is equal to 21. So 21, there are 21 boys in the class. E asks how many parts are girls. Well, if three parts are boys, that means that this one part left has to be the girls. So it means there is one part are the girls. And the last question, F, how many girls are in the class? Well, there's only one part, so that there are seven girls in the class. Okay. So here is our next one. We have 30 marbles in a bag. If one marble is drawn from the bag, the probability of drawing red is two-fifths. So it needs to know how many marbles are red, how many marbles are not red, what the complement of drawing a red marble is drawing a not red marble. So what's the probability of drawing a not red marble? And then what is the sum of those probabilities? The drawing red and not drawing red. So A, how many marbles are red? So I know that two-fifths of my marbles are red, and there are 30 marbles. Two-fifths of the 30 marbles. So I'm going to multiply those together. So two times... 30 is 60, and 5 times 1 is 5, so 60 divided by 5 is equal to 12. So I know that 12 of the marbles are red. Okay, on B, if I have, so it says how many marbles are not red, so if 12 of them are red, then I know that the rest aren't red. So I'm going to do 30 marbles minus the 12 marbles which is equal to 18 marbles. So on C, the complement of not drawing a red marble is going to be the opposite of drawing a red marble. So if drawing a red marble is two-fifths, that means that not drawing a red marble would be three-fifths. Okay. Because on D, the sum of the probabilities, when we add two-fifths plus three-fifths, we end up with five-fifths, which is equal to 1. Which is how we know if our probability is correct because it needs to equal 1 at the end. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.